So for this video, we're going to be going over the hitch peg. So if you haven't watched the stack video first, that's fine. I'll go over a lot of the same tools in both videos. So you can do these in either order. So first thing we're going to do is start a sketch on our XY plane. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the outline of this right here, and then I'm going to add the dimensions in afterwards. So I'm going to do all of the straight lines first. So I'm going to make sure this one goes straight down, straight over, up, over. All right. So again, if you watch the stack video first, you're going to know exactly what I'm going to do. If not, I will show you right now. So I'm going to turn this into our center line. So first thing I'm going to do is click on it, then click on this center line tool. So it changes our regular line into a center line. This will be very beneficial for us for a couple different reasons. So our first reason is if we click on this corner and then click on this line, you can see how we have a diameter symbol now. So it'll match up with our diameter symbol here. So now we know we don't need to do any calculations, changing it to radius or anything. It's just a simple type in the value that we have. So quarter of an inch. Next thing I'm going to type in the total height. So 0. 6.5. Alright, and then our next one is half an inch. Alright, so right now I added in all the dimensions for the lines that I'm going to add in. The last line right here, we're going to change that dimension later on. We're not going to add it in right now. So next thing I'm going to do is, well, we can do a three-point arc it's probably the one that you're used to seeing because it's the default. So I'm going to show you guys how to use a center point arc. All right, so this one, see how there's that green dot right here? I'm going to tell you right now, do not get that green dot. That's not what you want. You want to get kind of up here a little bit more. So I'm going to click here. And I'm actually going to go over two different tools. So I'm going to make this just a little bit shorter than I want it to be. So first thing I'm going to do is dimension it the dimension I need it to be. So that is over here with our surface radius. So 0 0.208. Okay. What I'm going to do now is show you how to use the extend tool. So when we extend, you can see it kind of extends our circle wherever we need it to be. Or, well, our arc here. So I'm extending it down to there because that's where I want it to be. And then I'm going to use the trim tool. So this little bit, we need to kind of trim our extra off, or else the Revolve tool will have a problem with it. So easy enough, trim. So that's two nice new tools that you probably haven't used before. Extend and trim. Very, very helpful. So now we can finish, and we can simply Revolve. And because, again, we set up our center line originally, it automatically knows what we want it to revolve around, because we only have one sketch, one area that it can select from, and also one excess. So you just click OK. So now this part is done, so we can save. All right, the next thing we can actually do almost at the same time. So I'm going to show you kind of a trick. What we can do is modify this into our linkage pack, so part 8. So make sure you file, save as. Okay, so then now we're going to change it to a different name. All right, so for this one, it's part eight. All right, and we have linkage peg. So now I'm going to save it because we want to save this as a new part because we're going to modify this and we don't want to accidentally modify our hitch peg. So save hitch peg first and then save as and change the name. So you can see right now, it's still a hitch peg. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the sketch. So you got to click on the arrow next to Revolution 1, double click. All right. So what I'm going to do is now delete that dimension. The reason for that is originally everything was fully constrained. Now I don't want it to be fully constrained because I'm going to be changing dimensions. So first one I'm going to change is this one right here. So I'm going to change it to 0.0625. All right, our next one, I'm going to shrink this to, and let's see, it is 0 0.25. And you can see how it's kind of getting a little funky and changing. Um, sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. For this one, I know it does work. 
So next we're going to change this one. So 0 0.325. All right, so doesn't quite look like the linkage peg yet. So now we have to add in that last dimension back in. All right, so this one is 0 0.152, sorry, 0 0.1562. All right, now it's starting to look like this. So all we got to do is finish. And now we have our linkage peg. Easy as that. So you can kind of make two parts almost at the same time. So if you pay attention to what you're making, sometimes you can save yourself some time.